help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I'll weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep an eye out. my eyes. Come to face me, finally? Or will you continue to harass me from afar? Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you are not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. There is a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Who look, listen. He will You're poison our thoughts. You have no thoughts to poison! Die, monster! To hell with you! Take your last breath.
I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My coat. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. Care to join them? I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. <laughs> Deadly cold. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner and my comb have been found. Now, the price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature may be more if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. You are different than the kind my flight so fancy attract. Burdened, decorated, and... delicate. Delicate? The others, they are like clubs. Blunt and ungainly. You are nimble. Like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or vikinger will do? I was married once. My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost and to be found by a helping hand. <laughs> Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them. If you'd like. My shoulders are tense, and my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the comb. As a keepsake. Thank you, Beale. You tamed some nuts I haven't been able to reach myself. So, Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Ivan! Wake up, or you'll be cast into the wild. Stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep?
They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. <clears throat> Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Ivan! Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when in your bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go! Sheathe your edge and grab some dice, stranger. Come! <laughs> Oh, Orlok. I know this game well. Are you any good? I'd like to find out. Let's do this then. I will not go easy on you.
This will be over soon. How did you do that? Look at that! I'm getting good at this. I went easy on you there. Let us go again, I dare you. That is enough Orlog for now. Help! They have taken the Yarl! Where's Yarl? He has been taken by bandits! Come quickly! A Yarl taken by bandits? If you are as brave as you appear, you will come! The Yarl will be grateful, trust me! Not far. Hurry, or they will kill him! Kill him? Do they not want a ransom? Just hurry! We are near. Go, go on, they are up ahead. You know where they are. You lead. Fine, follow me. There has no power here! This pathetic gamble has cost them their lives. They threatened to kill me if I did not help. So to save your life, you led others to their death. Our village was burned by Kjotve the Cruel. We had to flee to the forest. Those who survived grew mean and desperate. Olaf, one of the men you killed, said we had to fight for our land. 
but he only wanted to kill for silver. You picked the wrong fight. I am of Raven Clan, and Chatwe's sworn enemy. Then we share a common foe, and I was wrong to use you like that. Your second mistake was choosing me as your prey. That was not a mistake. Y you looked like a good fighter. I, I was hoping you would kill or weaken Olaf so I could escape. You are young and still foolish, so I'll spare you your life. But cross me again, or harm anyone I cherish, and you will join your friends in Helheimer's foul forests. You will never see me again. Uh, I will be a white rabbit in the snow. Home. Or it was home once. Now it is nothing but bone. showed me this passage. I was so excited. I won every game of hide and fetch after that. make me feel safe. I have not felt safe since then. Not really. I still remember the smell of the feast. The anticipation of a dinner I never got to eat. This room... My old bed. It felt much larger when I was young. A lifetime ago, it seems. I spilled ink on this throne. The stain is still there, in the furs after all these years. <laughs> Father was furious.
your orders, would you have lived? Would you and father have triumphed? This is where father and mother left this world. I would have died with them in dishonor, if not for Sigurd. Is anyone home? This is not a natural quiet. It is as if a curse has befallen this place. Ornir and Ymir wonder where they've gone. ahead. fears realized, but your death will not be in vain.
this island. We should leave this place. widely and has traveled far will learn the scope of mankind's nature and discover common sense. What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work, all gathered here. And now, I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it. But I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black, after I put an arrow on the King Sigtude's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. That contains a drinking horn I received from King Hafton for capturing his bride, Ranghild. Hmm. a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold for pulling Haftan's frozen body out of the ice. They are a generous family. You missed a few things. The gods will get the idea. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives, but it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that, even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. 
Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! Thor's hammer. That was a shock. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kjotve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kjotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kjotve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today, my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors, and cut short the court of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone. But the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Chatve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Chatve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged Wolfkist. Squeal as your mother squealed. I split! 
helped you. You destroyed my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. You dance better than you fight. You cannot avoid your death. My blade will drink your blood! Your flesh will feed my wolves! Forfeit. Come forward if you must, into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers. Glory! <laughs> 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 
Try to trip. <laughs> 
you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Gorm flees. His father dies twice today. of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Guthormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased. and will ensure you pride of place at his holding at Aldexterny. Tell him we will come. Battle first and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to Father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sona. Another time. Yeah. <laughs> 